How does the computer help you as a composer save time? The computer and a lot of other technology, we're focusing very heavily on computers, but it's general to technology of, of all types. Uh, the computer was originally designed, uh, among other things, as a labor-saving device, that is to take over a lot of the kinds of work that are really a waste of the human potential uh, to create um, that we're caught up doing. However, the, the other great potential of this technology, besides making certain things easier, relieving us of certain drudgery, is the, um, the fact that it opens up many new possibilities, or it permits us to deal with a wider subset of what our own imaginations can envision. Okay, just be very specific and tell me quickly, how does a computer save you time? What does it do that, you, that, what, that takes time? Uh, okay, well, s simple examples. If I have a, a melody that I want to repeat three times or six times, uh, instead of having to write it out literally, I can, um, I can just have the computer play it three times. Now, that's a very simplistic level, but the net effect is that if it's easier to try out more things, produce larger numbers of notes, then I can try more ideas faster, which means I can be much more selective in my own output. I can learn faster. I can grow faster. I can reject a lot more of my own creations and raise my standards and explore more things than if I had to laboriously hand create every single black dot on paper, go out and find a half a dozen people to read through it in order to find out what something sounds like. Uh, I, I just can do a lot more music. So uh, the, just tell me about this piece of paper. The computer created this hard copy. And that, and just, so that I can cut away to this, if you could just describe what we're looking at here and how the computer helped save time. OK. The, um, the score we're looking at, I created in a computer, a piece of music, working in part by ear, in part by knowledge of rules of counterpoint. and. Uh,